What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and today, my friends, we have the heavily requested drag back tutorial, part of the hashtag seven tutorials in seven days series that we put together here. Remember, I have a bunch of tutorials in the playlist. Get involved. Also, if you like it, make sure to smash a thumbs up, show your friends, pass it around the community, get in the comments down below, especially if you have some drag back combinations, because I want to put together an advanced drag back video and I'll leave that up to you guys at home. Before we get into the FIFA goodness, if you need cheap games, codes, or pre-orders, head on over to G2A.com. I'll leave the links down below in the description. Use Dirty at checkout. Let's get this show on the road. And with the drag back, it's a universal skill move, meaning anyone can execute it on the pitch. Your defenders, your midfielders, your attackers. I, I wouldn't recommend getting too heavily involved with the defenders doing drag backs. I'm not saying no-go. But I would not look to use an abuser in that area. And it's relatively simple where you have the R1 trigger or the RB trigger, just depending on platform. And then you're using the left analog stick to flick towards the direction you want to turn in. And where people make mistakes is that they flick in the wrong direction or the ball is moving too quickly. You can't do this move on the run. At least I don't know how. If you can do a drag back while sprinting, show me. Link me that video. That could change everything. And I always like to get some practice in the arena because... If you can't do a skill in the arena, if you're unable to execute a skill in possibly a skill game, you're not going to be able to translate it into an online match. Speaking of online, we're starting with online shopping. And we're going to use the drag back to purchase some more time to make everything just a little bit easier in life. Uh, it's a good way to open up the pitch for yourself if you maybe can't pinpoint the pass that you're looking for or you just are a little bit unsure. You need to buy a little more time to facilitate something good in the midfield. Uh, it's also a beautiful skill to use if you're playing off somebody who's using high pressure, someone who's trying to anticipate where you're moving. And you can see that in the first freeze frame. I've got an option on the wing. I just don't love that option. I don't cross too much this year. And I felt like we could do better in this scenario. This is happening live on stream. So I'm going to try to stop the ball a little bit, throw a drag back in there. I just need to let, make sure other bodies are getting forward. Other people are getting involved in the attack. It gives me more options. It improves my buildup. And I'm going to be able to generate a goal scoring opportunity via the, the middle of the pitch as opposed to having to whip in that cross or take the wide and then come inside approach, which is very common, especially if you've been playing FUT champions. They start out wide and then you start to gradually move inside as we get the finish. I appreciate you. 1-0. Yes, sir. Let me know how y'all have been doing in FET Champions because where this is coming out on the weekend. And we have the quit reaching. Mm. Uh, you guys are going to hear me talk about you reach, I teach. I love putting that together, reaching and teaching. You see what I'm talking about. If somebody gets caught with their hand in the cookie jar, then you should slap that hand. Do something with it. And that's kind of what this is all about is anticipation. As you can see in the freeze frame, and I believe I'm passing to Ben Arfa in this example. And because I also know that he's going to have quicker execution than other players, because five-star skillers make all skill moves just look a little bit crisper. Am I lying? I'm not lying. And I know that defender is coming in aggressive. That's what I'm anticipating. I, I feel like my guy that I've been up against today, my opponent, he's been a little bit antsy. He's been aggressive. So I'm assuming that he's going to come at me. And we're going to pull it back with the drag back, and it opens up a lot more room to do whatever we like. And he looks bad. And it actually starts a skill run. Uh, in this match, and it's a silky skill run. Can we finish it? Speaking of crossing, there we go. If you want to see a crossing tutorial, let me know in the comments. Drop a thumbs up. Also, other tutorials, please put it down in the comments. I've been looking at what you guys have for suggestions. I've been getting back to a lot of people. I do my best. And if you have any questions with the drag back, of course, comments, please, comments. And now we have the roast, which is short for the roasting and toasting session that you know I'm all about. Rhyme scheme, dirty mic, that's kind of something that just goes with my content. Always has probably always will be that way. I like to have some energy and add something a little bit extra into the tutorials, the tips, just the personality piece in general. And now, if you have watched me play a lot, then you understand what's about to go down here. But in the freeze frame, I've got a defender, and I'm kind of stuck on that sideline area, which is one of the most beautiful areas on the pitch. This is one of the highest validity, the most accurate, the best time, whatever you want to use as description words for do, using the drag back. Because if he anticipates where I'm going, I'm most likely going to get a corner kick. So there's no risk involved for me. And because I've turned my body, 
most people would anticipate you're either going backwards or you're going to try to swing in some sort of pass or a driven pass the other direction. They're never thinking you're going to run back down the wing. And the drag back's quicker than if I were to take a two-turn dribble where I'd try to circle back around. Instead, I can hit that one quick, swift drag back. And if he was reaching, oh, then he's going to be in trouble. Uh, he's going to be burnt. He's going to be out of the picture. And I just love this example because it's the most effective way to use the drag back and get the best result. Now, can you abuse it all game? No, it's not one of those skills this year. Unfortunately, it's been downgraded from what we used to love last year. But it still has value. It just doesn't have the same value it had in FIFA 15 or even in FIFA 16. Uh, but it's still a good move to have in your back pocket. And if you're comfortable doing it, or you've practiced it a lot in past installments, then you have no issues uh, doing this instinctively. And the more that you start to put it into your gameplay, good things are going to happen. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to drop a thumbs up, and I have a lot more coming for you ASAP, ASAP.